Hello and welcome back you fine fine humans my name is Deventrix and today we will be looking at the tier 8 Pershing now the Pershing is it's a it's a great great tank it's not anything too special but it's a great tank and here I will be doing my status quo double game play featuring some of the strengths the weaknesses and how to play this tank effectively on the battlefield now let's get into it uh, this first battle is on Rockfield and this battle it greatly illustrates, you know, the strengths of this tank, which is being a hull down warrior. Uh, but as I said before, you know, the Pershing isn't anything too special. It's not the best at really any category, but it also doesn't suck at any category. And I know everyone says this, but it, they say it because it's true. The only thing that this is really good at is its gun depression, which you will see right here. I can get this lovely shot into that AMX right there uh, with ease, and almost no Russian tank in the game could do this. But this American medium tank and look at that great shot into the comet right there this tank is so fantastic at it that it can do hold down situations like this with ease uh, but back to the tank the tank uh, it's not anything too special it doesn't suck it's not very good at anything but it is a pleasure to drive and I mean it when I say it's a pleasure to drive now that uh, T26 and the super pressure right there both get shots into me which is not very good for us but we are able to get a couple good shots in both into the T26 and then into the J Panther. Now we get another shot into the AMX CDC uh, and we are going to tell the team that we are attacking him but he is dead before we have another shot. And now we're gonna push up here and we are going to try to get another shot. Now you can see in this tank, you do not have to aim very much. It's basically point, click, shoot, do damage, which is fantastic. The really two strengths of this tank is its gun depression and its wicked good accuracy while moving. And you can see we're just pumping out the damage into that J-Panther with its great 90 millimeter. This tank doesn't have the most DPM, it's about 2200 DPM, but it's still a pretty fantastic tank. Now you can see we've worked this ridge line and we've just done shot after shot pretty much shooting on the reload. And now we can use the pretty decent mobility of this tank to push up here and to hopefully try to get that comet right there, try to get that kill. And in fact, will we be able to do it? Will we be able to? And boom, look at that. Firing on the move. One of the greatest things about the Pershing right here. Now we are up to uh, 50 miles an hour. We're going to try to get the Super Pershing right here, which is the premium variant of this, even though they play very, very differently. And we get another shot on the move into the back of that T26 E4 right there. Yes, it is. And uh, now we are going to try to hunt down and kill that T or that Nomad right there. I was going to call it the Nomad, even though it's not the Nomad, uh, which he did put a shot into us earlier, but he has managed to run away. Now we are going to push up here, hopefully gain a good vantage point, and using the pretty decent mobility of this tank to try to spot him. And now basically in this tank, everything about it is decent, minus its turret dispersion and its gun depression. It has a hundred or so millimeters of frontal armor, which can bounce lower tier tanks, but it really can't bounce anything of its own tier. Uh, it has pretty good turret armor, um, a great mantle, which can actually bounce things of this tier, but then again, people who know what they're doing can easily penetrate it. Uh, and there's a T26 right there. We give a little bit of aim, but we don't need that much. And we do a great 240 damage to that tank right there. And we do another great 240-ish uh, damage over there. And that's because this tank uh, equips a 90 millimeter. So it does some pretty nice average alpha damage. And boom, right there, T23 E3. That's what it's called. It's dead now. And we did some fantastic work that game. Now, it wasn't anything special, but we managed to do 2,400 damage. And that's pretty much how battles in this tank go. It's just, it's an average tank, you do average games, but it's a pleasure to drive because you just, it's a great, great tank. It's a fun tank to drive, it's pretty easy to drive, and it's great not missing every other shell. <coughs> KV2. Uh, what? what? Uh, but the Pershing is just overall a great, great, great tank, and I would recommend it to really anyone who wants, uh, you know, a very standard American medium tank and pretty much throughout the entire line the american medium tanks they are not the best not the worst they're just really a pleasure to drive and that's what i would call it the pershing is a pleasure uh now we can go up here we're trying to try to get shot into that kv5 who is a triari member and that guy has me worried uh but then we see that there is a t24 over there we try to get a shot in kv5 but he pulls down now we shoot straight into the turret of the t44 which isn't the best idea but at long range there's not much you can do now we're going to push up here because I see that the entire enemy team has gone to town and I want to help the people in town uh, try to handle with that. Otherwise, they are going to get smashed and then we are going to get smashed. 
So I think about going back there, but I pretty much committed and decided that we are going to push down into town to try to help them. Uh, but then I see that I could get some great flank shots on this T-44 and KV-5, and that's what I opt to do. Uh, that way I can free up my teammates and have them help me take down the rest of the enemy team. Now we get a lovely blind shot into the track of that T-44 right there, and we're going to continue to do that again. We're going to push down even more, pull down using this great gun depression, trying to stick out our thickest armor to the T-44, and the T-44 bounces. When you are in this tank, you basically go from hill to hill to mound to mound, trying to hide the majority of your tank and using its fantastic gun depression. When you're in a tank like this, it is so important just to go hill to hill, mound to mound. Now, sadly, I believe that is our first miss of the game. We missed the RU, but the RU is an extremely fast tank. We are going to shoot him, and we are going to ram into the tank, doing like 300 damage for a ram, because this thing is a pretty hefty tank. And we are able to take out that RU right there. And our team is looking pretty, pretty strong right now, but I, the battle is not over yet. The IS-3 defender on the team is basically on full health, and he can do some damage. So we're going to use this mound right here, and we're going to try to get into Sean to the AC-7, and it's a bounce, sadly. Uh, but I see that he was shot in the track, and he used his repair kit, so I'm going to shoot into his track again, tracking him, and now hopefully I'm just going to keep him permatracked while my team does some damage to him. Now I'm really hoping that my team starts to put damage into his tracks so I am able to do damage into the turret. So I'm going to take a shot into the turret, but sadly the AT-7 becomes untracked. But he's a bit preoccupied right now, so we're going to try to shoot one into the tracks. We miss again, but we're just going to use the mobility of this tank to get around the AT-7 and do some great, great damage into him. We get a lovely no-scope shot into the butt of the AT-7. You can no-scope all day long with this tank just because it has a point-and-click sword gun. And now... Even though we didn't penetrate that shot, it shows you how good the gun depression is. And also, we were able to go and we were able to penetrate a shot into the IS-3 Defender. And we're going to use our mobility to get behind this Tiger 2 and use him as cover. And now, we can just put a shot into the back of the IS-3 Defender. Now, the Pershing, it doesn't have the most DPM or the highest alpha, but it has such usable DPM and usable alpha. And we get another shot, getting securing our third kill. Since you have this gun depression, you can be so flexible, go pretty much anywhere on the map, and still do damage, which is what's really important. Anyways, my name is Deventrix, I hope you all have a great, great day, and I'll see you all later.